dear brothers, sisters in Christ, and everyone watching this program, welcome back. This is a beautiful Sunday. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who came to deliver us, and who loved us and gave his uh, life for us. Now, <clears throat> as you remember, previously I told you that well, I was going to explain about the 42 children, little children, and two bears attacking them, uh, uh, or, or as they say, kill them, kill them. The prophet of man, uh, th prof prophet of God called El uh, Elisha, he cursed little children, 42 in number, and two bears came from the forest and killed all of them, killed all of them. How could this happen? Do I believe in that Bible? Really? Do I believe? Let's read. It is found in the Second Kings chapter 2, verse 23, starting. And he went up, he, it means Elisha, he went up from thence unto Bethel. Where he go? To Bethel, Bethel, Bethel. Remember Bethel, Bethel. And as he go, was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city. Little children out of the city. What happened? Little children came out of the city. What's the, the city of what? Bethel. The city of Bethel. Bethel. And mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bold head. Go up, thou bold head. Wow. These little children, these innocent little children, who knows nothing, came out of the city of Bethel, and then cursed this old man, a man of God, Elisha. Then what happened? And he turned back and looked on them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord. Wow! He cursed them in the name of the Lord. There came forth two she-bears out of the wood and tear them, oh, tear forty and two children of them. Forty-two children were torn apart and killed and bare, eaten by two she-bears. What? What? Is that from the Bible? Yes. 42 little children, innocent children, knowing nothing, they came out and cursed the man of God, an old man, and they cursed him. And he, I mean, they, they, they insulted him. They insulted him and he cursed them. In the name of the Lord, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. What? What? What a mess. Let us watch some of... Now, let's, for little children, it is made Elisha, the children, the bears. All right, listen. And shared came to pass that the prophet Elisha traveled... It shall come to pass. The prophet Elisha. <laughs> Listen. By the city of Bethel. He was feeling really down because his master Elijah had just been sucked up into heaven by God. Sucked up into heaven by God. And then. <laughs> But in the end, he did what any wise, compassionate, merciful man of God would do. Wide, wide, compassionate, merciful man of God would do.
Yeah, uh, this is uh, very powerful. Imagine watching children, they learn how to hate the Bible so that they are devoid of, uh, you know, they have hatred towards God and toward uh, uh, the Bible and towards Christianity. This is very, very powerful tool. Yeah, little children. Now let's continue and then, uh, all right, let, let me see uh, some other. Uh, this, uh, this is a bold man, bold boy. I think it's English boy, maybe. Bold boy, let's listen. I um, called upon the she-bear to kill the children who were mocking his baldness. Do you know about that one? Mm -hmm. My favorite, especially uh -huh. about... Do you know where it is found? <laughs> I don't know where it is found, but that is the Sunday school teaching little children coming out and the bear cursing the man and he sent them bear and destroy them, kill them. <laughs> That's my favorite. That is my favorite. <laughs> American bull. American bull. Let us go to this bull-headed man, man of uh, ever learning, never understanding. The Bible called them what? Ever learning, never understanding. And that's what he called them a great man of God, become as if godless. Oh, you, you call service, you user service, great man. There is no great man except the Lord Jesus Christ. You, you are nothing. Let's listen from his babblers, from these babblers. Of the Israel of God, if you will. Because in Genesis 1, you have six 24-hour periods. Six times 24 is 144 hours. There you go. There you go. I'm just saying, like, you can do all this stuff all day long and burn the conversations. Yeah. But yeah, but Jonathan, imagine, this is their Bible study. This is their understanding of the Bible. Woo! How me? Atmos, we don't even know who he was. I mean, who, who was this guy? He just came off an island and said, hey, I read something. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing how much power the book of Revelation has had for how flimsy it is and, you know, and how weird it is, but... Yeah. But, but back to the 42 bears. Then we'll go back to the debate. But uh, yeah. I'm going to cover uh, super chats before we get to the debate. Okay, so uh, at, even at face value, imagine there's 42 children and they're mocking the prophet because he has a bald head, right? Uh, who, who, it doesn't sound like they were. They might have been young teenagers. They were children, right? They, we don't know. But whatever they were, there's 42 of them, right? Is it plausible that two bears could come out of the forest and kill all 42 of those children without some of them r running away? I mean, I mean, would, <laughs> would they all just have stood there? Oh, here come two bears, eat me. I mean, Bobby, Bobby, kick. Here, Bobby. <laughs> he's still with Bobby. He went to Lucy. Lucy, stop. <laughs> so am I, am I, uh, was I wrong when I say these are like little boys? That's what little boys do. It's playing with the word of God. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Uh, I, I can imagine. I mean, if there was two really hungry bears, maybe they would get two of the kids. I mean, you could kind of imagine that. They, they wanted to stop in front of But 42, so maybe you're right. Maybe that number was picked for some other reason. Yeah. And I'm totally still open-minded to... Yeah. I'm still open-minded. Listen. Hear this boy is still open-minded. He's ready to learn. He's ready to learn and forget his myth, vision, and learn. But open-minded myth, vision. All right. Maybe, because this is what I see happens often, is you have fundamentalists take it literal, and then you have atheists that are dealing with fundamentalists who have to see show how ridiculous the literal understanding would be. If we grant that this is not written literally, then now we're starting to get outside of this uh, fundamentalist approach to the Bible. We might can actually come to some conclusions that maybe some of these authors were a little more intelligent than we give credit in their literary skills of incorporating probably astrology 
being superstitious people watching the stars and and living at night observing these things that yeah this is this is this is you know 42 beers and the uh, little uh, 42 little children to build astro legend stars on this galaxy e come on that i'm i'm hoping for that <laughs> or priest most likely uh, which meant they had to be observers often so uh -huh. i'm thinking they knew how to play with words and knew how to tell stories yeah and and, and i agree with that you know what i mean and John of Patmos, who uh, John of Patmos, because he doesn't understand. It. One of the traveling book uh, for so-called Christians is the book of Revelation, because it is packed with great mystery, understanding. It's a very, very, very deep, and you have to take, you have to pray, and you have, th this is not for arrogance for this, like this man, or arrogant, who just bossed and you say, I'm, I'm a great man, wonderful. All right, now let's go to our point because we don't have to spend time with this little, little man, little man we are going to see. So what happened is these children mocked the, uh, the prophet uh, I, uh, uh, Elisha and he cursed them and bears came out and, uh, uh, and you say, tear, is it then say kill, attack them, the bears, and attack 40 and two children of them, attack, it, it doesn't say kill, kill, the Hebrew word is different for killing, this is attacking, they attack them, they, these children are not killed, we don't have any evidence, the Bible say, doesn't say they were killed, it doesn't say. They were attacked. And then, who are little children? Now let's, let's go to uh, understand what the Bible says. Who are these little children? Are they little? Little children. Katan, Na'ar. Na'ar, Na'ar. Na'ar is uh, the word. And, and y little children is, is found in, in is a different word, uh, which is Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah 9, let me show you, Isaiah 9, uh, 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 here is, uh, here is uh, Isaiah 9, verse 6, uh, Yeled, Yeled is ch child, Yeled, not Na'ar, Yeled, Yeled, Yulad Lanu. Yeled ki yeled yulad Islam would not be the uh, yeled yulad lanu. For us, a child, a little child is born. Yeled, and in the plural, yeladim. Yeladim is the plural for children. But that's not the word. That's not. So what does it mean? What is what what is what is the Bible telling us? So. Uh, okay, where I, where I was, uh, go back. Uh, Yeled. Yeled is what? But this is Na'ar. And then, can we find in the diff different part of the Bible? Yes. Go to, uh, the first time we find it is in Genesis chapter 14, 24. Save only which the young man, you see, young man have eaten, and the portion of men which went with me, men, young men, who saying, Abraham was telling to the king of Sodom, these young men were uh, the soldiers of Abraham. These are not little children. You don't take little children to war, and after they war and killed the enemy, when they came back, Abraham was telling them, the young men who are with me, they have eaten, uh, and then uh, if you can take that, sure, but I'm not going to uh, take everything else. That's what Abraham was telling. And we also find it in Genesis chapter 18, verse 7, Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto the young man, young man. 
Alerts from Google come Chrome. On. Why Red just... circle. Come on, just come on. So I'm sorry about that. So Abraham was uh, Abraham. Uh, now the angel of God came to visit him, and then he called his young man and asked him to kill a, a sheep and dress it. The the sheep. The young man killed the sheep and dressed it. This is not. This is young, young, young man. It's not like. Uh, uh, they are not little children. They are not little. We are going to who they are, but let's see. Young. So young man, uh, young people, young, young. So it is not. It is not little children. Not little as as it appear. But the King James. I don't know why. Is it translated that way? Because it is derog derogatory, uh, the word, what the Bible uses. Uh, and let's go and then uh, see. Um, uh, okay. What, uh, what else? Where else we find them? Uh, in, in the 12th century, there was a man which I admire, a Jewish man. His name was Rashi. The Rashi commentary... He, he put them like people, empty people. That's what he used for that. Second Kings 23, uh, 223, empty people of any observance of the commandment. They don't follow the commandment of the Lord. They are empty people. They are empty people. That's what I call this men, you know, uh, this men, empty people. These are empty ever learning, never coming to understand the word of God. These people are ever learning. These are learned people, but who are empty in the understanding of the mystery of God. And that is the same applies to those people who cursed, uh, uh, who cursed uh, Elisha. Elisha. So why why did he curse them? What can we learn? Now about emptiness, about little being little is not like physically you are little. For example, let me tell you in the book of uh, Proverbs, uh, for for the turning away of the simple, call them simple people, little people, shall slay them, shall kill them. The prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. When the fools are prosperous. When the fools, the fools are famous, like this, famous, that destroys them. It's a trap for destruction. The prosperity of the fools, the magnification of the fools, the fame of the fools will destroy them. Will destroy them. It's not me. What says that is the word of God, the Bible. And uh, Proverbs 1.32. So, being little. Well, now, let me continue. Traitors, heady, high-minded. These are high-minded people. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. Don't listen to them. For thus sort are, for, for this sort are... They which creep into the houses and led captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Ever learning and never come to, come to the knowledge of the Most High. Never. Now, this man, is, he knows Hebrew. He, he learned it. Why he doesn't uh, search the meaning of that word rather than jumping up? Maybe little, how come Ooh, these children waiting for two beers? Two beers? What happened? Mm -hmm. Barker, bark. A barking dog. Dan Barker. That's a, a, a good name. Really a good name. He who barks. Like a dog. Dog. Barking dog. Okay. Now, let us, because we are going to understand. 
I'm sorry, I'm stronger. I'm, I'm becoming like <laughs> kind of, uh, you know, uh, hard on them because they deserve, they are, they are useless people. Now, let's go. Let's go and understand why Elisha cursed the little boys. I put it in, in, a, in, in a quotation. Did the two bears kill them? Why? So, now let's go to the, 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 the history, the story. The story is uh, when Elisha, when Elisha was, uh, 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 in, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, the, when Elisha get the, the, you know, the, the title from, you know, the ordained, rather, ordained as a prophet of God by Elijah before he left him, what happened is, let's go and read, and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel, where? Bethel. Remember this? Little children, where? In Bethel. Bethel. What does Bethel mean? House of God. The house of God. The house of the priests. The house of the Bible teachers. The house of the Levites. The house of, like, the top ranking people of God. The temple of God. Bethel. Bethel. The prophets of God, the, the, sons, the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head? <laughs> they are insulting him. Is, is Eli Elijah in the head of Elisha? No. No. Elisha is a man by himself. And Elijah is, is a man by himself. They are insulting. These are the sons of prophets. And then he, say, he said, yeah, I know. Hold your peace. Shut up. Shut up. I know. I know Eli Elijah is going to be taken, but I'm with him. So they are trying to, you know, um, they are trying to uh, frustrate him. Uh, and then he's telling, you will be without head without him. Is your head from thy head, your master? No, they didn't say that our master, because Elijah was a uh, Elijah was a famous uh, one of the famous the great prophet of Israel. But they didn't consider them him as their master. But they said, your master, and he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. Second Kings, two three. And then the sons of the prophets, they call it the sons of the prophet. They are like the prophet Muhammad. The prophet Muhammad, a false prophet. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came unto Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away, uh, away thy master from the head to, uh, today? From thy head to today? He answered, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. They just are nagging him, nagging him. Who are these? The sons of prophets, the sons of prophets. And after that, Elijah was taken. After Elijah was taken, uh, they, the sons of the prophets came to Elijah and asked him, Oh, let us, uh, let us send uh, uh, 50 people to the jungle and uh, look for Elijah. Maybe the prophet, the, the spirit of God took him and put him over there. Elisha told them, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then they don't stop. They just urged, they nagged, they nagged, they nagged him. And finally he said, and when they urged him till he was ashamed, <laughs> Elisha was ashamed. And he said, send. They sent, therefore, 50 men. And they saw three days, but found him, found him not. They went and searched and searched. These are the prophets. Weren't supposed to pray God to get revelation? No. They don't pray. These are like they do it with their mind, whatever they thought. And they are useless people. They were useless people. Men, men, as as uh, uh, Rashi said to them, empty people. These were empty people. 
These are the these children came out of the city and cursed a man of God. You know, if they were real people, they are in Bethel. They're in Be Bethel. And they are the, you know, the study the, the, the Torah, the, the book, the, the whole Tana, the, the book is there. They turn to respect their mother, their father. If whosoever doesn't listen, let him be killed. And then respect elderly people. That's what they taught in the Torah. But they did not understand. They don't learn. They don't learn. These are false prophets and false people. And that's why the bear came and attacked them. But they were not killed. Put that in your mind. They were not killed. These are useless false prophets. Prophets. That's what. La now let me take the final portion. Let me tell you what happened. In Elisha, in chapter 3, you know, uh, chapter 1, we saw chapter 1 and uh, chapter 2. Now chapter 3, uh, what happened? Uh, and Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What I have to do with thee? Get thee the prophets of your father. Let your prophets, these false prophets, who cursed me, let them, let them get it. Let them help you, the prophets of your father, to the prophets of thy mother. You prophets of your mother and the prophets of your, let them help you. You have nothing to do with me. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, nay, for the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into my hand. And then Elisha, he, you know, he, he went for and told them, you know, you are useless and your prophets are useless. You are not the people of God. These are the, these children from Bethel who cursed the man of God, who cursed a man of God. And they were attacked. They were not killed. They were attacked by uh, the uh, two bears, two bears. And now he's showing children, a merciless, a merciful man. And he called the bears and destroyed little children. No, no, that's not what the Bible says. These are the lost people, evil, wicked people who sow seed of wickedness and then, you know, kill the children. Kill the children they're, they're, so that they don't have relation with God. These are you know, the mouthpieces of the devil. These are the power of darkness, the workers of the power of darkness. They ever learn, ever, uh, ever learning, but never understanding. Are you one of them? Pray. God has a door for you. Pray. Pray. Lord, have mercy on me. Teach me. Lead me and bring me into the understanding of your word. The Bible is not like as, as you think. It's not. It is not like that. It's a beautiful book. It's an amazing book. And it is the word of God and the word of merciful God. But these people, they don't understand. They have nothing with the with, uh, word of God. They have understanding almost zero. All right, thank you for watching and listening. May the Lord richly bless you. If you have any question, I'm here to answer. And uh, until we meet again, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.